Hey, what's up everybody? 3D Theory here. Today is October 30th, 2024 at 6.01 p.m. And this is vlog number 65. It has been quite a busy time here in the tiny 3D print farm of five Bamboo Lab A1 3D printers. As you can tell, we got all the machines running or having just completed a print and we are back in production with the plates and latches. By the way, if you're new to this channel, this is my tiny 3D print farm of five Bamboo Lab A1 3D printers where I print out latches and plates and I store them down here once they're uh, finished printing and I print it out in uh, gray PETG and the combination of the PETG I use along with the Bamboo Lab A1s create a really great result. And here's some of the plates that I print out and likewise they really look great. We had a large order that was just around 300 units and we had fulfilled that order by printing out these latches and plates which attach to a larger product that I don't really talk about because the rest of the product is not 3D printed and this channel focuses on 3D printing. And this here is our Bamboo Lab a1 with AMS light combo with a top mount here that was 3D printed and I use this for near empty spools of filament. So these will start printing with the full spool and once it gets to a certain point where it's so low that it can't print out a full latch or a full plate with whatever is left on that spool I throw it on here with multiple near empty spools and it'll use the auto refill function that comes with this so it'll start printing up to a certain point run out of filament switch over to another near empty spool and finish off that print so we have I think about 10 sets that I've finished so one left latch one right latch one left plate one right plates one set and we have about 10 sets of those and um, I'm building them out and we're shipping them out as quickly as we can and as you can see see here <laughs> the workspace is a mess we got a bunch of trash here box of filament that I've been using up um, the table that was here that was kind of displaying all of these 3d prints that you can get on my maker world by the way links in the description below you can download the, this table you know these cup pen cups and these uh, thrones for your phone over there along with this green character uh, all on my maker world for free but I had to take that table and start building units because the table that I build on is a little low and it hurts my back when I have to bend down or not really bend down, just kind of really low to the ground. Um, and, you know, I'm sitting there using a screwdriver putting it all together. I haven't been kind of uploading for about a week, week and a half. And I figured I'd poke my head in here and just kind of make a quick little hangout update video. Just kind of talking about what's been going on recently. By the way, if you guys are interested, here is uh, the black filament that I use. And I printed out a latch in that black filament. This is a black PETG. And it honestly looks really great. And, and this is the same PETG that you see with those gray ones over there. And if you guys are interested in getting these filaments, there is an Etsy link where I sell my 3D Theory branded filament. You guys can find this on my Etsy shop. I also have a couple of cool 3D prints there that you guys can uh, that you guys can get as a 3D print or you can download the file for the Lazy Day tray. It's all on my Etsy shop if you're interested. But nonetheless, it's been a real busy time. I think the last video I did was right before I went to the Black Ops 6 launch. There was like this event that was happening for Black Ops 6 and I went, played the game, really cool game. I have just a small little short vertical video while I was sitting there playing it and I'm going to insert that in here. It was cool. It was a bunch of computers that I was set up in a room and uh, everyone was just playing against each other. There's some real professional gamers there and uh, it was a fun game. Nonetheless, it was a great event. They gave away some merchandise like a jacket, a cap, a t-shirt and whatnot. That was really cool then. But since then, I haven't really been making any videos here because it's just been so busy. I got a few orders where people purchased filament, which was really cool to see. I think I got two orders in one day, which is the most I've ever seen coming out of Etsy for my filament. And uh, really thankful for that. So I've been taking care of those orders along with my main project here with uh, the latches and the plates and also going to a second location. And if you guys have been following along on my vlogs, you know that second location is where I assemble the products. And it's really time consuming, really energy consuming as well. 
but it needs to get done and I kind of prioritize that over everything. But nonetheless, in this video, I'm going to keep it short. I'm just going to run you through the run of the mill here, you know, switch out the prints, and get the next print started and show you what I do here in my tiny 3D print farm. So pretty much once all of the prints are finished, I just take them off, throw them in the buckets. I do one full set at a time. So a one takes five hours, which are the place down there. And these take five hours and 40 minutes. And I don't start the next print until everything is finished because I like to do one whole set at a time so that once that set's done I can you know build out a full table out of it not having to wait for you know the plates or the latches to catch up. Since the plates are done we'll go down there and we'll take them off and take a look. Oh well what do you know this is actually not done but rather the filament had finished out. I'm glad I, <laughs> I noticed that so this is not a complete print. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a gray filament here so we can get this print continued. And this is the filament you'd be getting if you were to order off of my Etsy shop. Comes just like that. Has the tab there for you to see where the end of it is. And you just load that in and continue the print. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna load this in just like that, pop it in there and stick it through. I'm gonna click play. Once it uh, warms up, it'll continue the print perfectly. And uh, I used to have to worry about that. My old Creality printers, you know, resuming a print and hopefully it would resume good, particularly with my S5. But with these, they just resume perfectly. But while that's gone, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off because this one is finished and uh, this is PETG again, and it does stick really well to these PEI sheets, especially because, especially because I've printed it out so many times in the same spot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the glare, but there's kind of like a ghost image of this. And um, I, I'm not sure if it wore away at the PEI so much so that it's real sticky now, but it is. There's a little bit that chipped off here, but this is actually ready to go. The filament's nice and loaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and resume that print now and it resumes perfectly. This is actually ready for the next print. So I'm going to go ahead and do the left latch down here or left plate rather down here. And that's good to go. By the way, I do check uh, how much filament is left here. And once it gets down to about where right there where my fingernail is at, that's how I know it's got to be thrown on to the um, AMS light and the filament replaced here. So that's got a couple more prints in it. But since these are going, I'm not gonna change these out just yet. And I gotta wait uh, 33 minutes for this one to finish. But this one here is finished, so we can work on this one. All right guys, so this one has a little bit of an easier time getting off the uh, build plate. But I got quite a few prints going on here for printer number five. And you can see that over here. I have it just written down on this um, blue tape here, printer number five. and. Um, I got all the pieces that I need. This was the right latch, so we're gonna move on to a right plate now. And with this one, I try to switch it up. So if I did a latch, I wanna move on to a plate right after, just so it doesn't have that ghosting that's going on in the printers that are behind us. All right, so let's do the right plate this time. And let's go ahead and actually check the filament here. This thing's real easy to check. Pretty much just uh, unscrew this, and you can just rotate it and take a look. Oh yeah, that's plenty. There's still a whole lot of filament there. And you just screw that back in and it's ready to go. All right guys, so I'm gonna choose the one and only filament that's up there and it's ready to go. All right guys, I wish I had a little more for you in this video. It's just a run of the mill and this is where the vlogs got started on our channel is when we had to start building out these plates and latches. I used to have Creality CR10 SCs on here but literally the last, I don't know, 80 units I literally took all those plates and latches off and had to throw them away because they were just not good. It's, there's a whole slew of issues and um, to kind of go over a few of them, at the time when I was printing them, I thought that some of the visual problems that I was having with the printouts, meaning one part of the Creality CR10 SE would print close to the print bed and create this weird defect on the surface even though it functioned right it just looked ugly and at the time I was just 
wanting to get the production going. So um, after having reached those units, because those are the ones that I did in the beginning, so I went through all the A1 units that I had printed out. When I say units, I mean the sets of plates and latches. And finally, when I reached the Creality CR10 SC units, I threw them all away because they all looked so bad. Here's an example of the A1. You can see how smooth it is. I actually have some latches from the Creality CR10 SC and I could show you. Here's a plate and a latch from the Creality CR10 SC. And take a look at that. It's just layer shifts and it's just ugly, real bad um, compared to what I'm getting with the A1. And one of the worst parts about it was, look at those overshot corners where there should be 90 degree angles. They're, they're like going up and then almost like a U shape. This is from the Creality CR10 SEs. If you take a look at the A1s, they are clean. And just to be fair, I'll grab a gray one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. That is straight, straighter. That's like close to 90 degree almost. Doesn't have that ugly overshot corner like this uh, Creality CR10 SC did. And so after getting results like that, um, the Bamboo Lab A1 was having a huge sale at the time and they just had finished up with their recall for that wire back there. And um, I bought these, and they were great. And um, after going through the batch that had all these, I literally took them all out and I have a massive box of plates and latches that are just pretty much trash because they're so bad. But nonetheless, there was some in that batch that did do well. I'll be honest, the plate from the CR10 SE was decent. Um, it honestly looks pretty good. So not complaining too much about the plate as much as the latch from the SE, but these finished up and I'm gonna get to changing those out. So I'm gonna stop chatting here and get to work. <laughs> I definitely got to bring this room back in order. But nonetheless, guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, peace, love, and joy.